Hi there, welcome to the next video and in this video I will show you how you can apply the aggregation function like uh, sum, max, main and others on your uh, lambda with the help on your reduce with the help of the lambda x uh, function. So what my basic idea is that I want to identify the let's say maximum value within the list. So that's just an example, but you can then even further expand your operation. By default, if I need this, I will simply use the max and pass on the nums, right? There is no need. But just to get an idea about how you can utilize the reduce and lambda uh, to do that, because that will then open up a lot of new possibilities about the complex operation that you can specify within the within this uh, uh, function using the lambda to reduce or aggregate the value all right so what i'll do is i will create the new object which is max value and i will use the reduce and again the lambda and then the x comma y right because i want to store each of these elements one by one into x and y and then what i want is i want to use the max function to keep it evaluating within the x and y right by taking the nums right so if i go and execute this well no issues and then if i want max underscore value i will get 35 as the maximum value right similarly i have the liberty to use minimum value and i will get my minimum value so just to give you an idea about how each of these values within the norms are going into the x and y and then minimum is what it is doing is it is keep checking in each value that which is the man minimum value and then finally give you the output either it is minimum or maximum based on the function that you are specifying so like this you can specify any other function as per your needs and then you know get the output well uh that is just here to give you an uh, just a video to give you an idea about uh, the aggregation function about how you can apply it in the next video i will show you how you can apply the if else over here to make it, make these things a little bit more complex and uh, give get the desired output because in real life generally this is not how you will find the you know uh, easiest expressions and all but mostly you know you use if else and other things to get the desired output so i'll meet you in the next video with the if else over here in the reduce lambda with the help of reducing lambda